Thank you so much for staying glued to the Daylight Breakfast Show, which comes your way every Monday to Friday from 7 to 9. Now we have an exclusive interview this morning with uh, President Harry Kalaba. Yesterday, something trending was going around the country where President Harry Kalaba was seen being interviewed in quite an uh, irrational manner by an Al Jazeera uh, Zimbabwean journalist and linking him, making some very strong allegations uh, concerning the gold scandal in Zimbabwe. Just yesterday, Zimbabwe went to the polls to elect uh, their new leaders. President Kalaba joins us in the studio this morning to respond to those allegations. You can participate on the program. <coughs> we are live. DSTV channel 279, Go TV 27, as well as Top Star 102. Also live on our Facebook platform, that is KBN TV. Drop in your questions and comments. We'll be getting to them shortly. President Kalaba, it's a pleasure having you this morning. I, I must say that you're the most trending man in the country at the moment. <laughs> I think it's not only in, uh, in the country. I think I'm also trending in Harare. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure even in Harare, they're wondering, who is this uh, uh, Kalaba? <laughs> Interesting, but this is a very, very serious issue that has come up. And that is why we're glad that you could respond to the call this morning to come and clear the air. I think it's very important, especially for someone that is aspiring for public office, it's very important that the public gets to have first-hand information from your mouth, especially in regards to this. Yesterday, you were training where you're caught off, off guard um, in a live stream interview with an alleged journalist from Zimbabwe. First of all, how did you let your guard down to find yourself in such an embarrassing situation? Uh, well, uh uh, I was uh, told uh, by this gentleman who I was communicating with be uh, before, uh, who has connections to a friend of mine in the UK, uh, that uh, he was going to uh, he was going to deliver a parcel from a friend of mine, you know. And uh, when he he sent me a message, I was on my way going for a funeral at a friend's uh, place uh, somewhere near Waterfalls. So when he calls me and says. Uh, uh, and tells me, oh, there is uh, this, can we meet at this t a particular time? So I said, uh, well, uh, right now I've got several engagements. Uh, maybe I should send my driver over to come so that, uh, no, but uh, uh, we've come all the way from the UK and I think it is only right that maybe we can have an audience uh, with you uh, so that we also take a picture with you and we take a selfie with you. You know, you're doing a great work uh, in Zambia and therefore it would be good for us to also just, uh, you know, have an interface with you because uh, tomorrow we are leaving. So I said, uh, okay, because you've traveled all this long and uh, it's only human that maybe I should uh, take time and out of respect for my friend, let me just come and uh, see you. That is how I found myself in uh, that situation. So when I arrived, I called, where are you? So he says, I'm, I'm in this shop. And that's how I entered that shop. And I was just standing by because I was trying to, to go out, you know, uh, rushing out. Uh, so that's when he introduced himself and says, uh, I'm from Al Jazeera, Mr. Kalaba, you, you, you punched holes in uh, the investigations that we had done as Al Jazeera. And uh, you said that uh, uh, those investigations were neither here nor there. But um, are you working with those gold mafias? Are you part of them uh, for you to do that? And you were given a script and all kinds of uh, allegations were uh, thrown at me. Uh, quite strange, uh, Master, I must say. Mm. Mm. Great. When you say quite strange, I think the Zambians would want to know because, especially on the on the basis of the allegations that were made. Let's also first of all talk about the timing of the intrusive interview. Zimbabwe was voting, and the journalist accuses you to be playing a part in a possible plot to rig the elections. <coughs> That's quite a very serious allegation, especially on the poor day of the Zimbabweans. <laughs> uh, you know, I don't know how Harry Kalaba can get involved in uh, rigging elections in, uh, in Zimbabwe. I, I don't know how I can I, I get involved. Me making a comment uh, on a matter that was known by the whole world, and I made my own independent comment on that particular uh, uh, Al Jazeera documentary. Mm. And by the way, I was not the only one in this country who made a, a documentary. Eh? I mean, who made a comment on that one? Eh? I think uh, my elder brother, uh, Dr. Nevas Mumba, did make a, a comment on that uh, documentary. And today, as you and I are speaking, he is heading the SADC uh, group uh, in, uh, in Zimbabwe. Uh, so I don't know why 
So who can rig? The one who is uh, monitoring the elections there or the one who has not even uh, been there? I don't know. So I don't understand the criteria uh, that was being used. But mm -hmm. all I can tell you, it is just malice, cheap, and doesn't amount to nothing, really. Doesn't amount to nothing. Yes, uh, there was that thing of saying, and uh, iPhone 16 yeah, that has Very not yet come yes. out, mm -hmm. and uh, Harry Kala wanted an iPhone 16. Let me tell you one thing. Eh? Uh, I must admit my ignorance on these uh, uh, 15, 16, 14, 13. First of all, even my phones, the ones who buy for me are my children. Eh? They go to buy for me phones. And when they buy me a phone, uh, which I will use, they're the ones who know what is trending, what particular features are on that particular uh, phone and what is not there. And they said, Dad, I think now we should use this one. So it was only last night I was joking with my son and I was telling him, Sonny, this is iPhone what? So he was telling me, Dad, this is 12 Pro Max I'm using. And then, what about the one which you have? So he was telling me, this is iPhone 11. So I am not trendy uh, in that fashion. So even if they had said, uh, we are going to bring you, uh, your friend has sent you iPhone 85. Uh, I would have thought it is there because it's neither here nor there. For me, all I know is it's an iPhone, it's Samsung phone, it's uh, that kind of thing. And uh, there's this particular thing I must say, you know, saying before I forget it. I think it's very, very important. Mm. You know, uh, what has happened uh, has given me an impression that there's a very huge COVID operation happening in this country. I mean, somebody obviously has had access to my communication. Uh, somebody obviously has, had, um, has been monitoring me because it's not the first time that anybody is donating a phone that we have received. It's not the first time. Just as I was coming this morning here mm -hmm. at your offices when I was telling somebody that uh, I am coming for the studio, I was given a phone. He came to drop a phone for me here. Mm -hmm. this, is a, this, is, this is now saying a Galaxy A23. So, just as a gift. Just as a gift. So, I've been given a phone just this morning, and I don't think for me these things are really amount to, to anything because, as an opposition political party, we have got structures all across this country, and every day people will give phones, or every other day somebody will give a phone, those that want us to be communicating with our structures. They'll give phones. So, I don't think the discussion here should even be about a phone. The scam which is happening here is God. And there's a deliberate ploy wanting to deflate attention from the gold scandal that has happened in this country to now begin talking about iPhone 15 or iPhone 85. Mm, mm. I think that is not the way it should be. There's a scam here which is real. Mm. Even if Harry Kalava uh, got the iPhone 16 or iPhone 17, even if I got it, and then what? And then what? Where is the crime there? Because it was going to be a gift from a friend, as alleged. But if you have an imposter who tells you uh, there is this, who has had, uh, pre who has had gotten communication of uh, my picking up phones and they pick that information and go and super impose themselves on something, I don't think that is something. He claims that, you've been uh, talking for over a month while it is yours in your case. I told you, and I tell the truth that yes, I, I, I've been communicating with, uh, the, same with the, the gentleman. Oh. Yes, purporting to be a pastor. So he's been purporting to you to be a pastor. To be a pastor. So he's been purporting, not that he's the journalist. I only, he only introduced himself yesterday. As you heard in that video, he says, I'm the one who's been talking to you. I'm a journalist from Al Jazeera. And then, uh, Paul, I ask myself, if you're a journalist who is not a coward, to ask me questions if you think you don't agree with my position, why do you have to play hide and seek? Why do you have to play hide and seek? If you're a journalist worth your sort, all you need to do is to say, Harry Kalava, what you have said is not right. Can we have a one-on-one, -on -one? like you have done now here? Mm. You've called me. Mm. And because I've got nothing to hide, I will tell you, here I am. Mm. So even when I was meeting a person, I was meeting a pastor myself. I was meeting a pastor who stays in the UK, who has a friend I know, and has gotten a, a gift from that friend, bring it over here. That's the only connection that is there. That is the only connection. Or there are certain conversations you've been having with him that maybe the public would want to know. No, it's just been about that. It's just been about that. Because remember, at first this gentleman, mm. the same pastor guy, and that's why I even developed confidence in him. He had sent a pastor, again a phone, before. He sent a phone and... He, I didn't go to pick that phone. I asked my colleagues to say, I think go and pick the phone. 
they picked the phone and they told me you picked the phone. And I told my colleagues, give it to our, our chairman in Kaunda Square. I've not even seen it, I didn't even see it. Mm. They went and gave it to the chairman in Kaunda Square. So I think they were building upon that to bring the embarrassment. And so they said, okay, so we have done this, now we can also do this now to... So, and then you ask, and then what? Even if you brought 10 phones, 10 iPhone 15s or 16s, the, and then what? Yeah, the, the, the main substance of the allegation is that you're involved in the God scandal in Zimbabwe. Zambia has not yet recovered from the God scandal right here um, in, in the country. It matters still uh, under investigations. Other people detained over the same. You have been linked to the God scandal in Zimbabwe. I think the biggest question right now that Zambia deserves answers for is, are you involved? No, Paul. I'm not involved. I think the only part I'm involved are in the uh, God issue is me making a statement on the Al Jazeera documentary. And I said, Zimbabwe must be understood in its unique position. Zimbabwe is a country that has suffered a lot of sanctions. Remember when uh, Sudan, this Sudan, which is now having war there, when Sudan was under sanctions, even their contributions to the African Union, President Al Bashir at that time, used to bring the money in cash. They would come with the, with the dollars in cash, which doesn't happen in a normal situation. Normal countries remit through banks. But for Sudan, because of the sanctions that they have been going through, they were coming with money cash. They would come with $2 million, pay as a subscription, as an exception. And I was making reference to Zimbabwe because there was that thing of, uh, which they wanted to vilify the people of Zimbabwe and trying to say these people are like this and they're involved in this God scam and what. So me, I was just saying, I don't think what you are trying to portray is what I think is. I have got this substance having been foreign minister. Mm. That countries that are going under excruciating sanctions sometimes can go out of their way just for them and their people to survive. Mm. And I don't think there was any crime that I committed. If just saying that, just saying that, should warrant an attack from a foreign journalist in that fashion that he did, trying to discredit, trying to call a person that has built his reputation over the years as a crook, as a god mafia crook. I mean, it is, uh, it is very regrettable. And uh, this is only being perpetrated. We can only suspect by uh, colleagues that want to see the downfall of Arikalava. But you see, the downfall of Arikalava can't just come but you bring Paul and say, Paul, uh, go and uh, take a video of him. And uh, when you take a video of him, go viral and start justifying your own story. Because basically when you look at that crap, it's basically the guy trying to justify what is, oh, Harry Kalava, I came here, iPhone 16 doesn't exist. Ask that person if it doesn't exist. I am telling you that, yes, I don't even know whether iPhone 15 exists or iPhone 14. Mm -hmm. So don't tell me those jargons. Mm -hmm. You can even tell me I have brought you iPhone 35 and I'll still agree. I said, thank you very much for that gift. It doesn't matter. Mm. This guy who brought me this phone was telling me, I've brought you Samsung. I said, I don't care. For me, as long as it's a phone, don't tell me those Samsung 15, Samsung 32. I don't know that stuff. So I don't think there's any halabalu here. So you're not we involved. should not. You're not involved in the Never, world. never, never. Not even one day. Not even one day. And using your platform. I am challenging the authorities in this country. Let them work with Interpol. Let them work with Interpol. It's a free challenge I'm giving. Let them work with Interpol. And find out whether Harry Kalaba has had any connections to do with God. Either in a minute way or in a very big grand way. Go ahead and investigate me. I am here. I'm a public figure and I'm giving you the opportunity to say, please, Let's not just end at the social media platform. A serious journalist like you will bring me to a serious studio like here and ask me legitimate questions. You will not follow me or you will not bag my conversation and then say, oh, uh, here's iPhone 16. And then you begin playing on the ignorance of iPhone 16 or iPhone 15 or iPhone 14 to say, oh, we have caught him red-handed, hard color cornered in the... And then I was saying, cornered where? Mm. I, I, I don't know if you've seen that video, but where in that video has Harry Kalawa been cornered? I'm only asking questions to say, so if I don't subscribe to your position, then it means it's an offense. 
So this thing has really hates you, right? That my position, how can my singular position, uh, Paul, influence the entire Zimbabwean elections? How can my singular position be the one you want to rely on and say, Ari Kalaba is part of the God's come? Simply because I've commented on things. He also says you have a relationship with Yuba Danger. It doesn't matter. I can have a relationship with anybody. Because Yuba Danger is the one involved in the God scandal. That's, that, that God Mafia documentary uh, pictures him much. So that, maybe that's where the issue is. Do you have a relationship with Yuba Danger? Uh, uh, look, whether I have a relationship with Yuba Danger or not is a non-issue. That's a non-issue. Uber Angel, Prophet Uber Angel is in Zimbabwe or is uh, in the UK, wherever he is. And we are in Zambia here. So if you have a friend, if you have a friend who has stolen something and is a Saka Central Police, are you going to be implicated because of your friend of that person? Maybe you can be an, an accomplice in some ways. That's why I'm saying that if I'll be an accomplice, for mm. me it is easy. The only way you will know whether I'm an accomplice mm. is not to come and tell me, come and get iPhone 16, which your friend has given you. If I'm an accomplice, what you do is to enforce the law. Go to the law enforcers and make sure that this person is, uh, uh, is investigated and uh, put where he belongs. Why should I honestly be walking in Lusaka free? And I'm here challenging the authorities to say, please, can you take, on, take me on uh, in this scam? Don't even, there should be no sacred cows. Take me on. The way I have been condemning the scam that has been happening on God here is the same way I'm saying. If you think there's anything I have done, take me on. Investigate me. Thoroughly so. I mean, you are the ones in government. Uh, with your colleagues in government in Zimbabwe, work together and find out. If Ari Kalaba at all has any links to that kind of stuff, which you're saying. Quite, quite, quite ironic, when there are God scandals here in the country, you condemn them. God scandals in Zimbabwe, you try to justify why Ubert, Prophet Hubert Angel could be involved in that and why it, it could be diplomatically correct. I know. I think uh, you need to pick my, uh, my reasoning on that point. Mm. I'm saying Zimbabwe is a country mm. under sanctions for a very long time. And the Zimbabwean people, today as you are speaking, Zimbabwe doesn't even have a currency to talk about. I don't even know if Zimbabwe has got any reserves in their, in, their, in their central bank. And so the situation of Zimbabwe is different from here. Here we have got a legitimate government in place. Here we have got God we are discovering in Petauke. God we are having in Impika. God we are having in Kasensedi. Why is the government not moving at breakneck speed to make sure that we begin harvesting our God and that we begin having process of that God going to infrastructure in this country? That's not happening. So, Zimbabwe's case is under sanctions. Zambia is not under sanctions. And so for Zambia, when we question, when we ask questions concerning who is involved in this scam, they are legitimate questions. We just want to know who is involved. Mm. And nobody should be apprehensive mm. because we have not said you are the one who is involved. Mm. We are just saying, let us know who is involved. You minister who is talking, stop talking. You president who is talking, stop talking. Allow the Drug Enforcement Commission and the watchdog institutions mm. to watch over this matter. Mm. So why is the problem there? The problem is, the issue is distinct. These are under sanctions. These are not. So hence the justification why we should... Uh, uh, justify the issues happening because others also yesterday were busy resurfacing some of the pictures you and Prophet Uber Angel, your son with the son of uh, Prophet Uber Angel, linking you to have a very strong relationship. <laughs> and so, what if there's even that uh, picture? Possibly that's why you're even justifying his, uh, his involvement in the, in the, in the God. You've not heard me justify anything here, and you've not even heard me bring up his name here. I've not done that. You brought his name here. You, all I am telling you yeah. is, Paul, mm. all I'm telling you is. Regardless of what is happening, today you have got people who have been taken to Mr. Belem. He's, at the, he's at there at the police held. Uh, it doesn't mean Mr. Belem doesn't have friends outside who think that what has happened to him is not good. And that maybe Mr. Belem is children and the children of those also have met at some point. It doesn't mean that then uh, they cannot say anything or they cannot keep quiet on a matter. No. Nah. Uh, so uh, those who are trying to insinuate People are trying to dig for reasons to find Kalaba guilty. 
Because this man is raising issues. And I can tell you, you who are members of the Citizens First, and you who want to come to our party using this platform, if you were doubting the strength of this organization, this is your answer. This is your answer. That there are those who are planning to bring us down even when we're also planning to go to the next level. Mm. They're also planning to bring us down. Mm. Because, you know, it's like when you have got a mango tree and there's only one ripe mango. People will be throwing a lot of stones at that ripe mango for it to come down. So, I find myself in a very awkward position. Because this is not the first time I'm being fought for. People in this country have been accused of raping somebody. In this country. You know that. In this country, I've been accused of money laundering. In this country, I've been accused of, of uh, all kinds of heinous crimes. All in a quest to take me off the political pedestal. So, this is not a first. And it is not the last. These things are coming. Mm. For as long as we are getting stronger every day. For as long as our party is getting resilient. Focused. On where we are going, I can assure you with certainty, we will reach the destination. It might be, it might be quite uh, mountainous, but we will reach. Well, in one of the clips from yesterday, the Zimbabwean journalist is heard praising President Arende Hichilema for facilitating where you are aware uh, is facilitating this particular. Uh, interview that happened yesterday whether we can call it interview or, or not but your link up what would be your comment on that well my comment is that uh, again as, as some things are self-explanatory it's also good that uh, he himself uh, uh, brought mr kainde Chirema in the picture uh, i'm happy that uh, now we know uh, who is behind uh, all this and uh, i hope he understands uh, the implications of uh, issues of that nature. You are, insinu you are insinuating that President Nakhine is, uh, is involved in this? Paul, you asked me a question, mm -hmm. which you've just asked me. You asked me a question saying that guy mm. mentioned President Nakhine mm. mm. So who is insinuating between him and I? Who is insinuating? I'm mm. asking you a question because it is you who has just read that. Mm. And you just said that guy yesterday said President Akainde Ichilema was thanked for having facilitated mm. that same encounter I had at uh, Levy. Would you want to believe that journalist that President Ichilema is involved in this? Look, he said he was thanking him. Mm. He was thanking him. So for him, it would have been difficult to do that without Mr. Akainde Ichilema uh, getting in the picture. Mm. Why would a person bring him Mr. Akainde Ichilema in the picture if he's not in the picture? Why would he do that? Oh, why? Why would he bring him if he's not supposed to be in the picture? All these are answers to the Zambian people out there. Sometimes God has got a way of doing these things. You might think you are trying to press somebody against the wall. Mm. God is just lifting somebody up. Mm. That journalist makes very strong statements against the sovereign state and government of Zimbabwe, clearing, clearly showing also that he was on the side of the opposition. How does this impact Zambia and Zimbabwe's relations going forward, especially if the current government was to retain power? Well, I, I leave it to the Zimbabwean authorities to, to decipher that. I, I mean, at the beginning of this program, I told you that uh, I'm not only trending in Zambia, I'm also trending in Zimbabwe, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. uh, so it's a, it's a good way to trend. Now even Zimbabweans know me, now Zambia have gotten to be known more. I was checking my numbers on the Facebook page this morning. The numbers have just swelled like, like I've, I've wanted them to... To, to be so in every situation you must look out for what is positive eh? mm. so i think the issues for the diplomatic issues i think i leave it to the leadership of zimbabwe whoever it will be uh, when the the winner is declared mm. i will not dive into that uh, i leave that for uh, sovereign nations to to deal with and anybody who is facilitating i mean that guy to come in the country and talk the way he's talking and harass people the way he's harassing and say i've got c5 i've got police surrounding me uh, ordinary Zambians don't have police surrounding them. Ordinary Zambians don't have C5 escorting them. It means that that guy was special. And uh, that's why maybe he had the audacity to even reveal uh, who has the been... The state can be involved in this. Who, who, who has been uh, helping with, 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 with what the man is saying, C5 being involved, President Nishlema facilitating yeah. the police, the state clearly could be implicated in this. 
But when they mention the president, who is the state? Who is the state? Well, the state is the president uh, plus the citizens. But what so, would be the implications if truly the state is, is, is involved? You served as foreign affairs minister, so possibly you even understand this at, at, at a higher level. What would be the implications if truly uh, from what this Zimbabwe journalist is, is putting on the table, implicating the state, implicating President Harinde H. Lema, the police, what would be the uh, overall implications? Uh, well, uh, it's up to the, the Zambian government to extricate itself from those allegations that have been thrown at them. Because uh, Mr. Kainde Ichirema has been dragged in the picture. And basically the Zambian government has been brought in the picture just to facilitate the issue of Harry Kalabas getting embarrassed with the iPhone uh, phone. And uh, so it's up to them to explain whether they're involved or not involved. And it would be interesting Paul, that you should ask the chief government spokesperson to tell us uh, that uh, you have been implicated in this... Uh, uh, in this issue of bringing in a foreigner to come and harass a citizen of this country and you find it as normal, uh, it's not normal. And that's why, uh, colleagues, even when you want to postpone on your own, uh, growing up where I grew up from, I came to learn uh, of some metaphor. Because if you have not heard my story and then you conclude and you go all over social media and begin beating drums and you begin drinking and dancing, drinking wine. Uh, because, oh, Tamugu Elahari, I was reading one comment uh, uh, which was saying, uh, we have finally uh, caught him. So my question was, <laughs> they finally caught me in what? They finally caught me in what? You know, so it's, uh, it's funny. You seem to be easily implicated in, in, in some of these uh, matters. Not too long ago, we, we, we saw, we, we had an audio where you are also, it's like your conversations are easily, are easily trapped. Could there be a, a loose end somewhere from your end? I don't know which audio that was, Paul. Um, of course, there was uh, an, an, a conversation uh, talking about the downplaying of, of DP then, some time back, uh, where they were trying to, to destroy a uh, Democratic Party. And of course, the matter, of course, went to uh, the police investigation. State House was involved in, in, the, in that. It seems like you are at the center of, of, of all this. What could be the reason? I think, as I said earlier on, that uh, for you, my supporters, and for you, my colleagues, uh, who are working with me, uh, those of you who've been doubting that uh, we are not going anywhere, this is your answer. Uh, from the time that uh, the UPND came in government, they have wanted Harry Kalaba out of the political landscape. Uh, clearly, I didn't even know that they were the ones who facilitated yesterday's uh, encounter. But there, it goes, they were exposed that uh, they were part of uh, the scheme, not by me, but by their own man. Mm. He says, I can't teach them all well done for helping We them. need to wait to hear the, so, the, 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 the side of the government as well. Yeah, so yeah. That, audio, uh, that audio was uh, discussed between Levi Moma and Mr. Akafumba, PS Home Affairs. I was not part of mm. that audio. I only came to learn of the video through your esteemed... Uh, Station here. One of the concerns that pe people have been raising, uh, President Kalaba, of serious concern is uh, uh, campaign financing, where most of these political parties, where you as opposition political parties, get most funds. We, from what you're saying, it's like you have received, this is not the first phone you're receiving from this particular uh, team or individual. You've confirmed that you had received before and trust was built. Is it only the phone that you've been receiving from them? Uh, we receive all kinds of uh, support. Sometimes we receive, like we'll be receiving, uh, we have got detainees that came in. These were printed by uh, our colleagues who are supporting us. Uh, sometimes we even receive uh, um, money in provinces and even here in Lusaka. Some people would say, oh, uh, would we want to have got a 2,000 kwacha, I've got a 5,000 kwacha, I've got a 10,000 kwacha uh, for the cause of the party. I hear there is this trip, I hear there is this. That's how our party has always gone to where it should be because of well wishes. And we are not ashamed to tell you that, uh, yes, the iPhone 16 or iPhone 17 might not have even been the first one we should have been receiving. Mm. Except that maybe it was the first time that Harry Kalaba, because of uh, the connection of the people who were coming in the country, uh, the, the way they had put it and where I was, mm. uh, it would have been the first time, but we received these things almost every other day. From this particular team, uh, can you confirm whether you've received any f f financial support from them or just the funds? No, just, uh, we've never received any financial support. Just, just funds? Of course, they would have told you that. They would have said, uh, we have given you money. And me, I was thinking, anybody serious who wanted to implicate you in anything, they would have said, how do we sold the two kgs, you know? They have put you on phone. How do we have sold the two kgs of uh, gold? 
and uh, here is your $120,000. Then I'm getting the $120,000, and then you are capturing me. Mm. But you people are talking about an iPhone 16, which I, you didn't even give me. Even that iPhone 16, you should have kindly first of all given me, the way this man did. Mm. You say, oh, here is the phone, and then you are filming me. You know, uh, here is iPhone 16, then you are, you are filming. But you just talk, just because you think this guy said something that you didn't like. And therefore, we have to uh, distort his character. And uh, the enemies of progress also begin feeding on that, on that statement and want to run away with it. But lies have got short legs, eventually, because they, you get tired. For how long will you go with it? I'm here telling you, if there is anything that needs to be investigated upon me, go ahead and begin the investigations. And I can tell you, I'll come out very clean extremely clean because that's who i am my life is an open book we shall get to read some of the messages coming in from the public this morning especially on your response based on the allegations that have been leveled against you by the zimbabwean journalists but before we do that let's for those that maybe have had missed the video yesterday uh, where president harry kalaba was uh, had an encounter with the zimbabwean journalists let's look at that video uh, on the other side we read out some of your messages there'll be a number on the screen that you can use to send in the messages and even as you look at the video we also get to read some of your comments on our facebook platform this is kbn tv delight show documents that was you together with hubert angel no 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 honorable kalaba no, no, no. honorable kalaba no, no. do no, no, you deny no, no. do you no, deny no. that hubert angel prepared that script and you together you put the zambia government logo on that on that video document and our people, my people, your people as well, because remember Zambia and Zimbabwe, we're one and the same. They are voting today. Mothers are being raped as I speak right now. You've been checking the news, yeah? All this has been funded by the 240 million that Hubert Angel and you participated in. How do you know that uh, Hubert Angel is involved in that? How do you know that? How do I know? How do you know? Did you not because see you him on for, the video? Because you went for Al Jazeera? No, did you Does not it see make him? it right because you went for Al Jazeera? No. Honorable Kalaba, do you, do you deny? No, but first of all, I'm asking no. you. Does it make it right because you went for Al Jazeera and so you can create something against people and anybody who says something different from what Al Jazeera has written, then those people are not right. Honorable Kalaba, do you, do you realize that they have audit, audit, com, audit companies, yeah, including like Einstein Young? Maybe we should send them. No, no, no. Honorable Kalaba. Honorable Kalaba. Keep your video live. Just no, come no. there. Honorable Kalaba. This is a shop. Honorable Kalaba. In the shop. Well, this is a shop yeah. that, I, that, that we agreed, you and I together. And I've got some C5. By the way, that phone, do you know who delivered to you? Who delivered to you? Do you know who delivered it to you? Uh -huh. Those are police officers. Did you realize? I do not. That's not that phone. No, I never no, no. used it. No, no, no. But do you realize that there were police officers who delivered it? No, I didn't. Do so you, you know see. that you were captured on video? It doesn't matter. Yeah. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. They are sent people, it. There are people who are being killed right you now in Zimbabwe. It. You sent it. It doesn't matter, Honorable. You are a senior politician. You are a former foreign affairs minister of this great country. So you this sent. great government. So you, you sent because you don't agree with my position. No. You feel because Al Jazeera is paying. No, 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 no. This is not about. This is not about Al Jazeera. This is, this is, this is not, this is not about Al Jazeera. No, no, no. Honorable Kalaba. Honorable Kalaba. I'm going to give you a chance to go and apologize yes. to, the, to, to the government of, of Zambia whose logo you used of Zimbabwe no of Zambia that you used right because number one we Al Jazeera. number one no 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 you created a fake document and you know that under money laundering laws which of the fake, of, of Zambia, okay, which fake document is that the video document that you created you put the logo of the Zambia government on that so video. Go to the Zambian government uh, and then do it. Are, are you going to then apologize to the time. Zimbabwean people? No, I will not. Are you, you're not going to apologize. I mean, why? The women who are being killed. Then why the should people I who are, the men, you should apologize because so there's that thing the funding. Too much, huh? No, no, no. Are you, do you realize that the that funding thing too much, huh? It's not about hurting. Do you, are you, are you, uh, do you realize this is human, you, these are human beings? I'm giving you an opportunity, Gary Kalaba, to go and apologize to the Zambian government whose logo you use. You used the logo of the... And by the way, big up to President Hichilema for helping to facilitate this. Big up to President Hichilema because when... And by the way, big up to President Hichilema for helping to facilitate... So that's the encounter that happened yesterday in Lusaka with uh, Zimbabwean journalists here uh, talking to President Harry Kalaba, President of the Citizens First...
linking him to the gold scandal in Zimbabwe. President Harika, earlier on, when the gold mafia documentary came out, had responded and gave his views uh, on that scandal in Zimbabwe. Let's look at that, even as afterwards we look at some of the messages um, that you have sent this morning. Keep sending. The number is on the screen. You can send in your questions that you would prefer being asked on the platform uh, this morning. But let's look at the response that President Harry Kalawa made after the Gold Mafia documentary came out earlier. Uh, look, uh, I think for me, the issue of the documentary on the gold scam in Zimbabwe uh, concerning President Munangagwa and his administration and then involving Ambassador Yoberenjo, I think for, from where I stand, as a former Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Zambia from 2014 to 2018, doesn't amount to much. Because uh, diplomats have to go beyond the call of duty to convince investors that uh, they have the ear of the principal, uh, who is the president, that they're the rightful ones to convince you to, to go in their country. And remember, we are competing for the same investors, same interests. And so one has to use the ingenuity to make sure that they attract their investors in their, uh, in their country. And so there's nothing strange about what we saw behind the scenes. And remember, the conversation is being held behind the scenes. Diplomats do all kinds of things in trying to convince uh, investors to go in their jurisdictions. Some have to throw cocktails. Some have to invite people for holidays. Some have to do all kinds of things to invite investors to go and invest in their own country. And for a country like Zimbabwe, we have to understand it from the perspective of the sanctions that Zimbabwe is going through. Zimbabwe has been going through excruciating sanctions and President Munangagwa needs to be encouraged instead of being vilified. Uh, Ambassador Uber Angel also has to be encouraged, you know. He is doing a lot of good for his country amidst all these challenges and he has managed to put his name to his country's uh, growth and economic emancipation. And because of that, these people need to be encouraged. Therefore, uh, from where I stand, there's nothing strange about that documentary. Only that somebody had uh, ulterior motives, wanting to reach a certain conclusion in order to cement their argument. But truth be told, that's what all diplomats, uh, most diplomats do behind the scenes. They do all kinds of things behind the scenes to convince their, uh, their investors to go in their country. And as a result, you find that they have to say what they should say. Uh, behind the scenes, so much is said. But unfortunately, we are seeing it and trying to portray that uh, monies were going in people's pockets. And from that documentary I've seen, there is no evidence there to show that money was going in uh, Ambassador Angel's uh, account or President Mnangagwa's account. It was all for the country. That is why I saw there is a Chamber of Commerce involved, uh, meaning that the money, obviously, the proceeds from the way government works, proceeds will have to go back to, to government uh, coffers. So my take on this is that I think there is no halabaloo. Uh, we should not cry wolf uh, when we see a puppy. Uh, diplomats have got a lot of work and anybody who has cared to be a diplomat will tell you that there's a lot of work involved in convincing an investor. I know it myself. I have had, had the experience for five years working in that field. I have had people come to me myself. I have had, we have had to go to people and what we discuss behind the scenes remains behind the scenes. But uh, what we are seeing now is trying to play down the role of diplomats and postcone on diplomats. I think for me, the story is neither here nor there. Thank you so much. This is a Daylight Breakfast show. This morning, we have President Harry Kalaba as he responds to the gold scandal allegations uh, based on uh, the encounter he had with the Zimbabwean journalists yesterday. One of the things that that journalist mentioned is why did you have to use the, the logo, the Zambian logo? <laughs> and I was like laughing. I said, which Zambian logo? Why did you have to use, especially I think in your, in, in, in your, in your response there, yeah. there was that Zambian logo by the side? <laughs> that logo is, it's, uh, I mean, people can play with logos. They can put logos when the video is going viral. Somebody can put whatever they want to put. And even if I'd put it. What is wrong with putting a logo? Because I can even now, in my office when you come, there's a Zambian flag just behind me there. 
it doesn't mean unless you are in government. First of all, people should not uh, thrive on ignorance like the one I saw. Mm. There is nothing wrong with you wearing even an emblem of the Zambian national flag here. You can put a flag here because you are a Zambian. Someone will not accuse that why using that Zambian flag you are not a permanent secretary or you are not a minister. Which law is that? Which says unless you are this, that's when you can only use that emblem. Mm. No. Mm. As long as I'm a Zambian and I think this emblem is going to work for me and I want to use it, after all, the coat of arms is on the Zambian flag. So what is the Yala Balu there? So uh, we are going to report you to the authorities for having, uh, for having used the emblem and what? I am here. Go and report to the authorities. Let's read out a few messages as we wrap up this morning. Good morning, Bahari Kalawa. How can I see you? I'm Anthony Chipoma in Chisamba. People want to see you. Maybe you have some connection with some God in Zimbabwe. <laughs> Good morning, Mr. President. Thank you, Mr. President. I'm following you. I'm happy to see you on TV. We all know who sponsored this propaganda. Keep on pushing. You are our next president from Stephen Mwale. Thank you, Stephen Mwale, for uh, watching this morning. Laka wa KBN TV, please um, do indicate also your name. Aaron Mwale, a student doing political science University of Lusaka. I know it's a trick. UPND knows Harry Kalawa is the next big thing. More tricks still coming to bring him down. Thank you so much for texting. Keep going, HK8. Mosquitoes will make a lot of noise along the way. However, that will not kill our resolve for a better Zambia under your leadership. Carlos Chisiki. Your bodyguard beat that man. What do you have to say? <laughs> Did your bodyguard beat him? I don't know. I'm, I'm, that's why I'm even laughing. Yeah, but I think towards the I end of towards the end of the video, we saw some uh, some no, some. I don't think so. There was no physical. Uh, I don't think so because uh, I'd left myself. So even when they were uh, yapping and those he remained yapping, I was not there. I'd already proceed for another engagement. Because later on, we saw that journalist crying. I think he was crying because he was saying that Zambians are not patriots. You know. <laughs> The government of the Republic of Zambia, they have lost their touch. Having friendship with people, it has come a problem. Please, Zambian people, since when from independence? Mr. President, don't worry. We are there on the ground and we know what is going on and what UPND government have been wanting to do against you. Milton Mitty from Livingston, CFO the way. Good morning, Mr. President. We all know that the UPND want to destroy you. This propaganda won't work out. The majority of Zambians are seeing coming in from uh, Godfrey. Good morning. You can only be a deal. You can only be in a deal if you are in it physically or you have received something from it. If President Harry Kalawa received anything as a result of a deal, they can still investigate. Moreover, he declared his assets when he was minister, like President Ichilema, so they can start to investigate from there. Yeah. Simkoko Lazarus, you agreeing to that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good a good, morning. That's a good point. Good morning, uh, President Harry Kalaba. You did well. The way you asked him, um, Mutakatala Muletamba from uh, Mongu. It's good to know that Mongu is watching this morning. We are behind you, Harry Kalaba. It's not easy to be you. People don't want clean politics. So they are trying all their best just to bring you down and paint your image with fake colors. But I can assure you that you'll never be shaken. None will take away what's in you or oh, the best boss jc from uh, kawe blessed morning mr president harry kalaba that reporter is a fake one you are sent by wicked leaders and god will deal with them be strong amen <laughs> amen <laughs> morning zambians are able to see through the rhetoric and dirty political game of the current regime move on president hk this incumbency arrogancy will be defeated one day muima mtini from Chipata. Greetings, President Harry Kalaba. Kindly give out personal line for Hubert Angel to the journalist so that he can probe himself since he was mentioning and you seem to be uncomfortable him being mentioned. Regards. You seem to be uncomfortable Hubert Angel being mentioned. I think you asked him, how do you know that Hubert Angel is involved? I, 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 said, I, asked, I said, how do you know that he's involved? Uh, if, if he is involved, then you should uh, follow him up and go and ask him. So, the issue of saying you didn't agree with what we said because Uber Danger was involved or President Munangagwa is involved. If President Munangagwa is involved, I think that is uh, for investigative wings to do. It's, it, it can be me. And I cannot start putting people on trial. Oh, I said, oh, I said, the only crime I've committed, hmm. the only crime I've committed in all this poll hmm. is just to say what Al Jazeera presented in that documentary was not fair. Because they should have given an opportunity to the people that they were investigating to say we are doing this. 
we hear you are doing this. None of those, neither President Mnangagwa nor his wife or the daughter or, uh, uh, has, been, uh, has been blessed on that thing. So for me, I just said, I think they could have done better. So I, I was laughing at the way they did it. Look at me how it happened. It was even worse. Surely, poor way, journalist. Is that the way journalists uh, operate? Is that the way you do things? Or Harry Kalaba come here, uh, uh, the CEO has asked us to come and uh, present for you a Christmas uh, gift. And he said we should give you. And then uh, please come and pick it yourself. We also want to take a selfie with you. Then I come in here. Then you say, by the way, we have caught you. There is no Christmas card for you. What is, is that the way you do it? Me, I thought it's to have the courage the way you did uh, this morning. And summoned me here to say, I think we need you here. And I told you, a colleagues give me, said, no, we need you on the breakfast show this morning. And I said, okay, give me 45 minutes of becoming. That's how it should be. Anybody who does acts like that are cowards. Those are habits of cowards. That's how they behave. Mm. Who want to hide certain traits and want to trade on, on certain illegalities to benefit themselves. They would want to work at that. Bring down a leader in such a fashion. But here I am, getting stronger every day. Someone has said you need to recuse yourself. You seem to have a relationship with Liberty Angel, so maybe you should uh, declare interest. Me, I've said, how can I declare interest? I've got a lot of relationships. Even Gary Combo is my friend, he's in government, he's minister of... Uh, Jack Mwembu is a colleague, I've been with him in parliament for 10 years. Uh, Chushika Sanda is my sister who I've worked with in parliament for. So all those people are telling me I should start saying, no, I cannot talk about Kasanda um, because Kasanda is my what or this one because I should recuse myself. I know all those people. So it doesn't mean that if I know all those people, then I should stop talking about those people or I shouldn't uh, get, uh, I should begin declaring uh, interest if there is an issue of fertilizer scandal which the Minister of Information is mentioned, then I should say, okay, me, I will not comment about this matter because Chushika Sanda is my... No, it doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way. Good morning, Paul. Indeed, President Kalaba has cleared the air. His enemies are behind all this. Cost of living is too high. HK8 2026. Um, even as we wind up, Good morning, Mr. President. Don't worry. We are with you. Just be who you are. We need you next chapter. If you kindly get that line, we are here for you here in Kalolushi, please. Good morning, HK. The enemies will come to, to you in one direction and they'll scatter in seven directions. The Lord is with you. Amen. <laughs> I think it's the point you say, Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Fire. <laughs> Honorable, they want to divert us from the sausage airport. The airport is being used for such. Aaron Mwale from Kafiwe District. Once again, we are behind you. Mr. President, we are behind you and remain true to the cause. That was Chief Propaganda Brian Chipili this morning. Maybe two more last messages even as we close um, the program this morning. That was a hired gun by the UPND. Uh, Simba is a hired gun by the UP. And well spoken, President Harry Kalaba. Well, I think we need to wrap up this morning, but thank you so much for finding time to come and clear the air. We really do appreciate um, the quick response this morning. Uh, thank you also for having uh, given me this opportunity. I think it was important. There was no need for us to wait because you only wait if there's something that you want to say. Oh, let me see how far the investigations will go in case Nasiako waka, in case Nasiako waka. But there's nothing that I've said. I've said it as it was, as it is. Uh, we remain in the struggle. And remember for us, uh, Paul, we will stand on what the prophet Isaiah says. Isaiah 59 verse 19. The prophet Isaiah says, when the spirit of the enemy will come like a mighty thunder, the spirit of the Lord will raise a standard. So we believe that the Lord will raise a standard in this journey. Thank you so much for finding time to come through. President. Thank you, Paul. Thank you for having me. Awesome. That's why we wrap up this morning's Daylight Breakfast Show. Uh, we had President Harry Kalaba, President of the Citizens First. Uh, clearing the air and responding to the allegations leveled against him by the Zimbabwe journalists yesterday, linking him to the God scandal in Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe yesterday went to the polls to elect a new set of leaders. Voting uh, has since closed, and of course, uh, counting of ballots is underway. KBN TV will be at hand to give you first hand information on the results coming in from Zimbabwe uh, today, later as well in our. Programming. Thank you so much for watching. Coming up next on TV is a repeat of the big hour last night where I featured UPND National Youth Chairperson Gilbert Lisoniso. Good morning.